Hey guys, um, sorry, but I was swamped the last couple of months and I couldn't upload any videos. Though, now I'm back at it. I will keep a more relaxed schedule due to my university program becoming quite tough. So, anyways, today will be a quick one just to show you how to implement the effect shown in the previous video. So, let's start. First of all, how did we compute lighting in shaders? Well, that is a hell of a question. Way too complex to answer in a short video. So we will leave this question for the, f for the near future, really. I promise I'll make a video where I'll explain everything about how to implement a shader that computes the lighting of an object. So, for this reason, we will not reinvent the wheel, and we approach the problem by utilizing a pre-made method by Unity, contained in the imported library, who does compute the basic lighting of an object. As you may see, the method computes the lighting in a certain pixel with a PBR, or physically based rendering. It just simply needs three inputs. The surface output standard, that's a built-in struct that contains some parameters about the local colors of our model, we will see that in the near future. The view direction, in order to compute lighting in a point based on the viewer's position. And last, the third parameter, contain pieces of information about the lights that are present in the scene. In particular, we are interested in light positions. Now we can simply compute the standard lighting of our model by simply calling this method. Bear in mind that in order to redefine the lighting of an object, you may always use this syntax, which imposes to implement an inline method followed by a method that has the same name but ends with an underscore gi. Inline methods are tough to explain, well, really, they are a real simple concept, but um, you need some understanding of at least C++, so we will see that also in the future. Maybe I'll do a video about C++. After this setup, we can start to implement our effect. First of all, we get our light direction. If we have multiple lights, don't worry, because this function will run multiple times, once per each light in the scene. After that, we go ahead and we store in a variable the view direction. Finally, we store the vertex normal in a local variable. Then, we start by computing the halfway vector that I explained in the previous video, by simply doing the dot product between the normal and the distortion factor, then I add the light direction and I renormalize the result. This formula and all the others' computation are well explained in the theory video. Back to the code. Now we want to compute the backlight intensity by making the dot product between the normal and the negative halfway vector. After that, we obtain a scalar, that's a single number, and we clump the result between 0 and 1. We then raise this result by a power factor. That's a variable that we specify for the shader that determines how much light gets through the material. Lastly, we multiply by a scale factor that basically does magnify or minify the effect. The last step might seem a bit tricky, though this formula is really simple. We add a base color to our backlight effect, so it will have a certain color. Then we attenuate the effect, because otherwise we may obtain a too bright effect. And finally, we multiply everything by the local thickness of the model. You may ask, why should we multiply by thickness? Well, because based on the thickness of the model, the light will easily or hardly make to the other side. As you may see, the thickness is set inside the fragment shader and passed to the lighting function. In my case, the thickness is a texture, called ambient occlusion map. Though you may compute this real time, but these calculations are tough and way out of the scope of this video. Also bear in mind that always you can do stuff runtime or do stuff with textures, obviously with textures is really easy and fast because you compute these offline and then you use them but in order to do so you need a designer 
or an artist that does take time to realize that. Instead, with runtime procedures, you lose runtime computation time, obviously, but you get a result without involving any artist, so a cheaper result. And bear in mind that this concept is always present in the game development industry, also in the computer graphics industry. You can either pay an artist or do things by losing runtime. Back to our effect. Finally, we multiply the backface intensity lighting by the current light color and we add it to the standard lighting model and then we return it. And here we are, the effect is done. As you can see, the shader works beautifully when applied to my material. You may want to experiment with it by tweaking some parameters. Also, you can find all the code in the description and yeah. For today was everything so guys i was thinking at opening some new series because like the shader series is fun we do learn a lot but also i want to show you the depth of game development and computer graphics development by explaining maybe some c some game engine um i'm currently working on my own game engine so i can just show you some like at least the theory behind it and uh, maybe showing you some tips and tricks in order to work with c and opengl that's the things that i use the apis that i use uh, the language plus the apis that, that i use i also use cuda for some improvement to to the engine so please let me know in the comments what do you think about that and also i was thinking about opening some new series about algorithms and uh, maybe cool programs cool video games implemented in unity i know video games uh, may not reflect your uh, interest but also video game development is one of my interests so maybe i can show you some some cool things that i was i was doing i was planning to to do and some games that i realized recently so okay as i said for today was everything and in the next video we will explore actually something else and uh, maybe about lighting maybe about game engines maybe about c++ maybe about algorithms maybe about video games who knows uh, let's see um i would probably go for lighting but um i currently didn't register any new videos so if you have some ideas or some requests please let me know in the comments but up until next time cheers